All right. All right. So then, then let's talk about the tactics that he's choosing, because this is yeah. such a bad look. These are real questions. Yeah. Either money was getting funneled into various family members. Either you knew what was going on. How do you explain being on these text messages? As you and I both know, as students of the game, these are the kinds of allegations that all you do is respond because you don't want the narrative to get beyond your control. Biden is doing the opposite. His age is a huge problem, not just because it's a huge problem, but because he allows everybody to say it without yeah. counter. His problems yeah. with Biden or uh, Hunter are in part a problem because he's given no answers about it. Yeah. And what is I, this strategy? I would, argue, I would argue it's of a piece of his inability to begin to concoct a general message, general election message for himself. He's got plenty of successes that he could claim and he could package into a, a coherent message for the coming campaign. And he struggled to do that today. Yeah. And I think the Hunter Biden thing, um, you're right, that if you went back to, um, I mean, maybe this isn't the best example, but if you went back to the Clinton White House in the 1990s, when they were beset by all sorts of scandals, they had war rooms that were cranking out yeah. responses took a very, very aggressive attitude towards dealing with the people who are leveling charges against them, sometimes way too aggressive in, in doing so. Mm -hmm. And so your question, I think, is a very, very reasonable one, which is, you know, why do they seem so inert in the face of all right. of this? And, you know, there are a couple different answers that I could give you. Um, number one, this is... Um, such a, an enormous source of emotional pain to Joe Biden, which is part of the reason we're here in the first place, that uh, because he loved Bo Biden so much and because Hunter Biden was somebody who was clearly suffering in the shadow of Bo Biden, had all of these addiction problems, uh, had a father who was deeply involved in politics, which took him away from home when their mother had died. There's a lot of trauma, a lot of grief, a lot of, and he's always had a hard time saying no to Hunter Biden. I mean, clearly at various points in Hunter Biden's life, he would have benefited from his father saying, this is a stupid business ploy. It's going to get you in trouble and it's going right. to reflect badly on me. And he was never able to do that. And I think that this is a right. He struggled. He's struggling in this instance to emotionally still tell Hunter Biden what to do because the smart play would have, been, the smart play would have been to have cut a plea deal with David Weiss, even when Weiss right. was starting to back away from the deal that he negotiated with Hunter Biden. And that is that is fishy. I think that they're right to point that out. Um, he could have cut a smaller plea deal with him that would have gotten him off on the gun charges, right. gotten him off the tax charges. Look, it's not a novel situation that he's dealing with, uh, not the addiction part, although in America, that's not novel anymore either, but people no, using the name. But we all know what the easiest way is to deal with this. My, my father did it. My brother did it where I was involved, which is, hey, people are going to ask you for things. Say no. If it has anything to do with me, say no. Uh, they did the opposite and they're paying for it. But I will say this. I'll extend the invitation through you also. Uh, they won't even put Biden on this show, which is crazy, given the relationship that the Bidens and the Cuomos have had. That's how safe they're playing. He won't even come on this show. So hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.